Alright, I thought I would make a separate video about this. I took about six different tries and I'm like, I'm just gonna do it separate, try to keep it short. I'm gonna be showing you how to set your valves on a hydraulic lifter cam. Any hydraulic lifter, push rod engine, you can do this on. You don't need that many tools. You don't need the degree wheel. I just have one on there just because I'm putting this engine together and it kind of helps, but you can do this when it's in the car. All you really want to know is where top dead center is. Your harmonic balancer is going to have a mark on it that you can use as a reference. So take your spark plugs out so you can see top of the piston. So let's get started. Something specific to this engine I noticed. When you're at top dead center, cylinder one, you got your two marks lined up on the crank and the cam. You're actually not on the compression stroke. So that really confused me for a while because I'd be... 180 degrees out and I could feel the compression so what we're trying to do is get to the compression stroke where both valves are going to remain closed for a period of time so the piston is going to be coming up valves are closed your spark plug is going to ignite the mixture it's going to send the piston down and your valves are not going to open or close within that period and that's when you need to set them. That's because you're going to be on the base circle of both lobes. So probably right about here. And somewhere in here, there's going to be an overlap where the exhaust and the intake valve are both going to be open. So that's not really a good place to set both of them. So we're going to want to be on the base circle of both which is pretty much top dead center on the compression stroke. You can be a little bit before and after you have a window. So the way you can tell that you're on the compression stroke, now right now these are a little loose. I haven't set them yet, but I can see the pistons coming up. Now what you're gonna do is you can blip the key or turn the engine over really quick. You can hear that compression pretty much pistons coming up, that air is coming out the spark plug hole because both valves are closed. So you can probably even set them now because I can see the lifters aren't moving. But I'm going to bring this piston up to top dead center. Right when it stops moving, right before it heads back down, right there. So pretty much do that with a breaker bar on the crank gear. So now we know we're in that base circle area, top dead center, so now we can set our valves. Hydraulic lifter cam, pretty much here's a lifter. There's a spring in here. What we're basically doing is going to preload that lifter so that push rod's always riding in that spring cushion area. You don't want them too loose or tight. So what we're going to do, I don't like to spin the push rods, I like to rattle them up and down so you can feel zero lash. I'm trying to do this quick, my phone's about to die. So we got a zero lash. I'm going to tighten this until there's zero up and down play. Now these rocker bolts are kind of like lock nuts. So there's just the one bolt to tighten. Sometimes you'll have a set screw, but... All right, that one's tight. So we're just taking that play out. All right, now we're gonna go. Rule of thumb, small block Chevys, stuff like this, Chevy straight six, you can go half to three quarters of a turn. All right, we're still recording. I'm gonna go three quarters of a turn. on the intake and exhaust and now they're set that's about it that's pretty much all there is to it now you're going to want to know your firing order to do the rest so on these engines 
153624. So we're going to go to cylinder 5, rotate the engine over. On these, I think it's every 120 degrees, you're going to be at top dead center on the next cylinder. On uh, V8, it's going to be 90 degrees. So you can hear that we're on that compression stroke. Just going to watch the piston come up. I already set these, wiggle them push rods up and down until there's zero lash, then go half to three quarters of a turn. I've heard of people going a full turn, but that's kind of up to you. I'm doing three quarters of a turn. But then after five, go to three, six, two, four, then all your valves will be set. 